Have you got anything at all, anything to say to your former patients? Just hours before he was jailed, Ian Patterson still refused to apologise. Sentenced to 15 years for mutilating and traumatising women, he'll be seen as one of Britain's most dangerous medical practitioners. His former patients stood together outside court. He'd convinced them they had cancer when they had not, then disfigured them with unnecessary surgery. Today's sentencing has brought to an end over four years of trauma and stress in trying to bring this man to account. No amount of prison sentence will ever compensate what myself and the other people affected have gone through. Judge Jeremy Baker told Patterson, these offences represent the intentional application of permanent harm by you upon patients who are in your care for your own selfish purposes. They represent the antithesis of the Hippocratic Oath. 59-year-old Patterson was a trusted breast surgeon. It's unclear what motivated him, possibly greed, as he earned more for every operation. Judith Conduit had a double mastectomy. The procedure nearly killed her after she got a blood clot and infection. Eventually, she learned she'd never had cancer. Deliberate murder. And I think that's the only thing that could be worse than what he did, but he was... It was calculated, he knew what he was doing. Because nobody challenged him, he got away with it. The more he got away with it, the more he did it. And it was a vicious circle. Judith's operation was done at the Parkway Hospital run by Spire Healthcare. Like most private patients, she's had no compensation. It's thought 1,000 victims have been affected by Patterson's negligence. The NHS has already paid out nearly £18 million. 9.5 million in compensation to around 250 patients and an additional 8.2 million in court costs. There's dark moments, I think, for all ladies who are diagnosed as having breast cancer. Patterson but, um, was warned, but he continued to perform the controversial the cleavage sparing operation. That there is life after this diagnosis, they get their life back. Barbara Lewis had the operation and now has terminal cancer. She's certain that others should share the blame. They knew he was doing it. They told him time and time again not to perform the operations, but he continued and they let him. Victims who'd come together to hear Patterson's punishment today are equally dismayed. They're demanding better protection for all private patients. Juliet Bremner, News at 10, Nottingham.